So you wanna know how to hold the shot. We got two major things that make a huge difference. Where's the hand and where's the arm? And we're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to hold the shot. Now, seems like a basic video. There's been videos out there, but one of the things we want to look at is a couple of things. We want to look at the connection of how we're holding the shot, and this is going to trump everything. This is going to trump what we call the chain reaction, right? If we don't hold and position the hand and arm properly in the shot, it really doesn't matter what you're going to do because you're not going to be able to deliver the shot right. So one of the first things that we're trying to do is we always talk about we want to get that shot kind of up here on the knuckles. We want to get the thumb and we want to get the fingers behind. Now this gets into rim weight. A lot of people like small shots because they feel like they can put their hand around it. You really don't want a small shot. You want a shot that allows you to get your fingers behind the ball so that we can get this flick. So in today's video, what we're going to do is talk predominantly about the glide shot put position and the arm carry. It's a super important thing. Now the arm carry in the rotational shot is going to be kind of up here. Now I know I just said we're gonna talk predominantly about the glide, but what we're trying to do is we're gonna find that comfort spot where that shot's gonna be up here and you're gonna notice the crease of my elbow is gonna be down. But in the glide shot, we're pulling the shot typically under the chin and we're gonna see the elbow coming out, right? So we're down here. So one of the key things that we wanna look at is that when we're in a full throw and you're gonna see me and I'm starting at the back of the ring, one of the things we talk about is creating alignment. So we wanna practice, you're gonna see most elite shot putters and you you're gonna see what we call as they set alignment. So one of our favorite is Valerie Adams, David Storrell, looking at classic gliders like Warner Gunther. So you're gonna see how they get the shot, they get it up here and they create, and they find that spot and they're bringing the shot down and you're gonna see this hand position here and then what they're gonna do is bring it under. You're gonna see that the elbow is away and again, where's the crease of the elbow? We're, we're in this position. So the deal is why we don't want to see our arm like this or like this. Sometimes you see kids doing this or you'll see gliders, right? Where you'll see your gliders holding a shot like this. So you're gonna notice when I try to come out of this position and I'm here and my elbow's here, that's gonna cause the shot to come out. Okay, so one of the things you wanna be focused on again is you're gonna see how we've got this shot sitting in here and how we have the fingers sitting like this. Now you're gonna notice that the ball is gonna be sitting here. Sometimes the pinky, the pinky is sitting a little bit to help some stabilization, but your more elite guys, they're gonna get that finger closer so that they can get more of this type of thing. And so you're gonna be able to put more force. That flick is worth an extra foot to maybe as much as three feet. The second thing we talked about is once we get that right, we wanna be able to understand that where it's gonna go in the neck. This is gonna be somewhat thrower uh, centric, right? Some guys are gonna like it a little lower. If you look at the glide legend, Ulf Timmerman, he was down here. You're gonna notice where the elbow is though. So now what you're gonna notice is when I hit that and you're seeing where the elbow position is. So if I'm gliding and I bring that shot down and you see me here and you're gonna see where that elbow's at, now I'm on, in this position. Because as I hit the glide and this opens, now I'm gonna be in this position to pull in that nice linear strike position. So basically what we wanted to help you guys understand understand is that there's a lot of little nuanced details to holding the shot. It really is the first thing. And what do kids want to do? They want to get in right away. And why does that shot come out? Because if you learn the rules of the shot put, the elbow has to be up. It can't come off the neck. You can't throw it. Well, that's going to be because of how you position the elbow and how you're holding in your hand. And this connection is what's going to be key. So this is why you'll see your rotational throwers, the big muscular guys, they're going to, you're going to see this and and you're gonna see that that arm is level and in the glide you're gonna see this kind of thing and you're gonna see that elbow kind of here and they're carrying it more in this position so when they line up and they're gonna move into the strike you're gonna be able to get behind this point and push the shot through how you hold and how you grip have a huge impact if you don't get these two things right how the hand position is gonna work and how the angle of the arm and where the arm is gonna sit it's gonna completely make learning technique next to impossible because you're always going to be feeling the weight of the shot pulling away it's always going to change how you move it's going to change your balance it's never going to allow you to strike the shot clean and if you're doing that then you're always going to compensate right because if your arm's out of position then what you're going to wind up doing if your arm drops well then you're going to be trying to 
position your body to get yourself into a putting motion, which is clearly not gonna help you develop a good technical pattern. So again, this is, this is something we talk about in the throwing chain reaction. It's a real simple thing. We teach a four part sequence, how we're gonna get everything set up. And so we get everything in position and we've seen a lot of that. So the elbow stays down and away and in the rotation it's up here because we have two different angles of release. We're really looking at about 36 to 40 degrees in the rotational shot and we're really looking at 42 degrees is in that range in the glide. We want to be a much, it's a higher angle of release. So you're going to be seeing because it it's a linear delivery and out and the rotation is about speed and a longer path to generate speed and power. So those are the two things, but you've got to get this hand position right. You've got to get this elbow position right because if you don't, it's going to be a disaster. Okay guys, so hopefully start there. Hopefully you can go try that tip. Keep those things in mind. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and be sure to check out the throwing chain reaction system in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.